you know, so the, the King of Bling thing, do you think that that would have been labelled at you had you been a white footballer? Um, no, no, not, no, I don't think we would because when I was coming through, I don't, yeah, I don't, it, it, it didn't, white, white people wasn't really um, considered blingy. It was more because of, you know, rap videos and, and music videos where they used to say bling bling. So it was a thing and they was just, like relating me to, if you know what I mean, like Bling King. So I think it was a bit disrespectful at the time. Yeah, is that that's racism, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, you know what? I, I speak to, because I'm on the other side now of like of football, and I, I speak to certain journalists. They, they, they wouldn't say it's racism. They would just say the, what's the, what's the word that they use? They say it's obviously prejudice, but they, Lazy journalism, they would call it. They're just jumping on a, a bandwagon. Do you know what I mean? If you, so to speak, they say well, it's not racist. It's like, but we just, you know, we, we thought he was young, cool. So, like, bling was in music videos and stuff like that. So that's what we just related to to, to that. But without thinking too much into it, you know what I mean. But they've got to do better than that. They have to do better than that because the way black people were perceived. You know what I mean? It's well, or as soon as I get money, it's only about cars and flashy things and stuff like that. So I didn't really, I didn't really like the tag, to be honest. Micah, you were at the Etihad, uh, the Burnley match when the White Lives Matter banner was flown over. Yeah, I just, I seen, I seen it, and initially I thought it said black lives matter so i was actually i was happy i was i was happy but oh well in you know what i mean and then the gentleman a couple of uh seats down from me actually said did you see that he was actually a black gentleman as well they said it said uh white lives matter uh with burnley at the end and it was for me it was just it was it was disheartening the reason why i didn't get angry at and I was just more disappointed because of what I've been through. Like a lot of people, you know, people see me on, on TV now and they, they, they may or may not know me, but like that plane to me, there was nothing on that plane that was racist. White lives matter, of course I do. There's nothing. What I've been through growing up in, in Leeds and Chapel Town, that plane flying over was, was nothing. So if that was 10 years ago, I mean, 10, 15 years ago, I might have been shouting at the, the screen, you know, losing my temper and that sort of thing. But that's what they thats what they want to happen, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with saying white lives matter, but the problem was now wasn't the time to say that. We know white lives matter, do you know what I mean? But we're talking about equality for, for black people and people of race, you know what I mean? So I don't, I didn't, I didn't get it. Obviously, I speak to a lot of, and my friends who are white, and they all agree it was wrong. I think a lot of people are scared to to talk about the matter because they don't want to say the the wrong thing. But if you see the people on the protest nowadays, um, a lot of them people are white people. So when you say, do you think it's it's going to change? I think it has changed now or is changing. I think it'll take time, not in our lives, but yeah, I do. I actually do think it is changing. I do. I think the momentum has to be maintained, and I, and you know, it was it was you know great to see uh, the respect shown by all teams in the Premier League. The whole kneeling thing, I totally respect it, but I also respect someone's opinion if they don't want to do it as well. That doesn't make them a racist. You know what I mean? I don't think it's fair that black people just are quick to call people racist just because they don't agree with everything that they're saying. You know what I mean? And that's a, that's a, it's like my my white friends are, are in that little bit who, of course they're not racist, but they feel uncomfortable. But at the same time, they don't want to be told to do something that, well, why am I going to do that if if I don't if I don't think that way anyway? Do you know what I mean? I'm just totally. It's the people who, like the person who do the white lives matter. They're the, they're the people who are scary to me, you know what I mean? Because they're the people who are, are putting things in, in people's mind and trying to make this like a, a 
a race war when, it, when it's not that. We're just saying the injustices for, for black people that have gone on, not just now, you know. You ask me, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get angry now. I, I, I said on, on TV the other day, I'd want to understand why people feel this way, you know what I mean? More, more, more than anything, because until I know how that person feels, then I'm not going to be able to change anything, or not me. Anyone's not going to be able to change anything.